to note, trees that offer shade can make a big difference when it comes to your power bills. But all new for you this morning, Joe lets you know when they get too close to power lines, there's really not a lot you can do. He came up to me. They're the talk of the neighborhood. And said, I love your trees. Yeah, be quiet, Fred. <laughs> Attention Connie Baggison really doesn't want, but when your trees go from this to this. There's no foliage at all. People notice. They're eyesores. Connie's lived in her Phoenix home since 1966. She says the trees and the power lines above have been here the entire time. SRP has been out to trim the trees before several times. But in 53 years, she says it's never been like this. It's extreme where it's way down into the trunks. More than the loss of shade to her west-facing house, Connie thinks they may be dying. She complained to SRP. They sent out an arborist. And he agreed that it was extreme. SRP says it was doing its job. Its website says it uses directional trimming to train trees to grow away from overhead lines. That could result in trees looking like this, this, or this. A spokesperson tells me the arborist determined that the trees are not in danger of dying, but because of Connie's concerns, offered to cut them down and remove the wood. She's sending them a quote for $4,300 for replacements. SRP should be responsible for at least giving me money to replace the trees. So basically, you don't have much to say about how your trees are trimmed when they're touching overhead lines. Connie says in the past, she did try to advise trimmers. This time she wasn't there. She won't let that happen again. We have a map of where SRP is trimming right now. Go to abc15.com slash let Joe know. I'm investigator Joe Deuce. If you got a problem, let me know.